Hi guys, look fuck here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player view and today I'm going to be doing the 90 rated UEFA Champions League team of the group stage, Christian Eriksen, he's got a fantastic looking card and it did cost me 450,000 coins and in the four games I played him with he scored me three goals and got me one assist and he does have a five star big foot as well as four star scummers. Then moving along into his in-game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 87 positioning, his 97 stamina, his 93 vision and finally his 94 ball control and I did have the maestro chemistry stats applied to this 90 rated Christian Eriksen. Uh, fantastic cards pretty much all around for the group stage team of the tournament. Although some of them I think are a little bit pointless. For example, the 95 Messi I don't think so, you know, isn't a great one to really go for and uh, purely because he's not central based. And I also think the 89 Gareth Bale is also uh, not a very good card to go for either. But this 90 Eriksen for me is one of the more standout players and I had to get him to review him. And to be honest, I think he's at a fair price, 450,000 coins for the card that you're getting. I think it's pretty fairly priced and I have to say, I really did enjoy him. I thought he was a fantastic card. Getting into his first pro is going to be his finishing. Very good, well-rounded finishing stats. 87 attack positioning, 90, uh, sorry, 83 finishing, 88 shot power, 93 long shots. With the Maestro Kemsa, he goes to 98 shot power and 99 long shots. And boy, can you notice that in game. I actually can't recall if he did score a long shot or I, I class a long shot as simply just a goal from outside the box. Maybe you guys might class it as a little bit further out than that. But um, certainly when it came to his long shots, constantly, you know, consistently being able to at least make, you know, force the goalkeeper to make a save. But again, I can't remember. I think he might have scored one. One of his goals from outside the box, maybe even two of them, I'm not too sure. But you could definitely tell how noticeable his shot power and long shots was. Absolutely fantastic. I couldn't fault him. In fact, recalling it now, I think definitely one of his goals was from outside the box. And maybe there was a second as well. ATP finishing doesn't look the best. But to be honest, in-game, I thought it was fine. His finesse shots are pretty decent as well. And three goals in four games was a nice return from the camp position. His second part was going to be his dribbling. Very nice, well-rounded dribbling stats. 81 agility and 83 balance are nice. With the Maestro chemistry, he does go to 86 agility. And then his reactions, his ball control, his dribbling, his composure are all very, very well rounded and he doesn't feel sluggish on the ball, he feels very good he's at the height of 5'11 so he's not going to feel too sluggish, he doesn't feel clunky, none of that, feels very, very nice, able to use his dribbling as one of his, you know, one of his ways of being able to kind of take on defenders, take on opposition defensive midfielders and be able to get into good positions to create chances either for himself or for other players within the team. And then his final pro is going to be his passing. Now, he only got me one assist from four games, which, to be quite honest, is a bit disappointing. But um, you'll see in a lot of the clips, the chances that he provides for a lot of my players were really, really good. His passing was fantastic. In particular, his vision, I thought, was absolutely impeccable. And I just couldn't finish a lot of chances that he provided. It was just unlucky. Um, he could have, on another day, easily had four or five assists in the four games. But, um, yeah, overall, his passing was fantastic. 93 short passing, 88 long passing as well. If you wanted to, yeah, you probably Core Plum is essential uh, midfielder because he's got okay defensive stats to be played as a centre midfielder but realistically you probably won't be using him as a cam because then you can take big advantage of that shooting that he has got as well which is absolutely fantastic so um, yeah shooting, passing, dribbling all very nice to the card in terms of pace he doesn't feel slow he doesn't feel massively quick either if you can use him as a cam or a centre midfielder I think it would be a waste personally to put a chem style on pace because it doesn't really matter for that position his pace is fine for he's being played at his stamina at 97 is fine as well uh, uh, strength wise wasn't great at all at that to be quite honest but wasn't a massive problem because typically most cams aren't really that strength based a lot of a lot of cams typically don't have very good uh, physicality stats obviously if you're going to play Mr. Centrum Fielder then it'd probably be a bit more of an issue because they kind of more rely on having better physicality and, that er and Ericsson doesn't quite have that so personally I would play this guy as a cam over a Centrum Fielder although he could technically play there but it might be a bit of an issue when it comes to his physicality and stuff like that but for the most part I think he's a very very good card. Do I think he's worth the coins? Yes, I do. I think he's a very good Premier League player to go for and, uh, you know, very well-rounded when it comes to his shooting, his passing, his dribbling, and just in general, a very, very good, fun, and enjoyable card to use. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish up this play review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.